Electricana Wind Power Project is situated in Marsabit County, Loyangalani District at the southern tip of the Lake Turkana in Sariba. When completed, this will be the largest wind power project of its kind in Kenya, injecting 310 megawatts into the national grid. The project consists of uh, 365 wind turbines, uh, Festus made V52, uh, rotor diameter 52 meters, 850 kilowatts. The construction started in 2014 and is estimated to be completed in June 2017. Five large contractors, Vestas for the wind turbines, Siemens for the collection grid and the substation. We have Seco for the permanent accommodation. We have Civicom for the on and off-site roads. And we have RXPE for the Statcom connecting the substation to the national grid. I feel extremely proud um, when I first saw the the video of, of the first wind turbine arriving to site, I, I felt quite emotional because very often as a developer you're, you're in a, a lawyer's office and, and uh, but to actually be on site and see the wind turbines being erected and to see the progress and all the hard work, it's, it's just, it's fantastic. It's nice to translate what was an academic exercise or a little drawing on a piece of paper um, and see it 17 or 18 months down the line when we are on budget, we are on track in terms of schedule and uh, every indication is that this project will continue on that track and, and be completed uh, in accordance with the timelines that were set out at the start. We have reached a huge milestone already and we as FinFund, as an investor, we are very proud about that because power is one of the key for all type of economic development uh, in any country. And one of the things that can help developing nations uh, get the infrastructure they need is to use the resources that exists in the country. The wind is free, it's here and it's yours and we're trying to turn it into cheap, reliable, environmental friendly electricity. And it's important for us as well that it's renewable. This project here, it is really coming together and for us this is the ideal combination of doing good both for Denmark and for Kenya. We have various communities here. Uh, we have Samburu, we have Turkana, we have Rendile, we have Elmolos, and the other minor communities which are living within this community, like Somalis. Challenges that we usually encounter in the employment distribution is that we find that there is that uh, wrangles, there is that conflict of interest among these communities. We usually involve communities in this because we, we have formed employment committee whereby when you get the employment, we just distribute them, we give them, then after that now they can, they can forward the CVs or names to us so that you can forward to the relevant contractor or company that requires them. We have been planning this project, these areas, we have nicknamed this project as a new dawn of our life. <laughs> Mapato. The what we will go on a on a ten bear bill a cassi, wing on the pata cassi, Nasai at our on a fraya. In a faidica and in a faidica capsaco, Miminigo now to attack to me as a mission. Or William as a mission, second time, more than in a peleca technical mechanic. Quayuma pato me in a pata, Nasaidia was the young, sit the house on Busian Gugana, Nico Kungana was a mission, I am Shara. The village is home to the personnel charged with the construction and running of the wind farm. 
with over 156 rooms complete with dedicated dining areas, recreational facilities, complete with a clubhouse and swimming pool. We have a team of people running this particular camp so that we ensure that as much as you're away from home, you feel at home. Our work here is to make sure that they get better services so that when they go to the field, they are comfortable and when they come back, they are also getting a very good place when they come back. I am very happy. I am grateful that I am, I am here. And uh, I feel happy because this is home. Having a background of civil engineering where I, I helped to design and supervise the construction of a reverse osmosis uh, filtration system at the village, which was a big success. People were able to get fresh water. They had kept complaining of the salty water, but now with the reverse osmosis system, they were able to get fresh water. I get to give fulfillment to the community. Like what you do, you see it put smiles on people's faces. Yes, the big project is about power uh, generation, and yes, it will help the country nationally. But for me, I think why I'm happy with what I do is I touch the lives of people on the ground. You get to see lives transformed, not only at a national level, but I would say at the grassroots level. We started this project in 2005. It was actually the first um, memorandum of understanding that was signed among what we commonly refer to as the founding fathers of this project. To me, the biggest satisfaction at the end of the day that we know we will have been part of that transformation because that area will transform for the better. Lake Trucana Wind Power Project, powering the nation.